funeral services will be Friday in Leewood for the father of three who drowned at Hillsdale Lake on Saturday. Friends, family, and law enforcement are still trying to sort out just what, what went wrong. KBC 9's Peggy Bright is live at Hillsdale Lake with the latest. Peggy? Laura, so many questions about what happened out here on this lake this past weekend. And those who knew and loved Mark Selby are hoping they'll still get some answers, but they're not counting on it. Friends tell us Selby was first and foremost a family man, and he'd taken his two older children out on the lake for a little outing. Investigators say it appears the children had life jackets on, but their father did not. His body was recovered on Sunday. Tonight, as family and friends prepare for the funeral, they are remembering 45-year-old Mark Selby for all he was to them, a man with a big personality who had a knack for connecting people together. He was a former kickboxing champion, described as a horse of a man, extremely fit and a good swimmer. So no one can imagine what got him into the water or why he couldn't get out. I think he was excited to get out on the lake. But there's no, uh, there's no account of what happened because of the kids. You know, the little girl uh, thought that he fell in, and the, uh, the little boy thought that he may have jumped in to retrieve something. Uh, but all we know is he went in and he didn't come back out. Jared Townsend had been friends with Selby for many years and was literally in his corner at kickboxing matches. But Jared says Mark's family was far more important to him than his titles. The funeral will be held at the United Methodist Church of the Resurrection. We're live at Hillsdale Lake. Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News. The autopsy was conducted today but did not provide many answers. Family and friends have been told there were no signs of head trauma or existing health issues, just drowning.